back to Farmer Nick here. Today we are doing some real life farming. Not necessarily real life farming, but today is going to be the farm tour. So we're going to start off with the back of the 8260R here. Um, John Deere. That's got some rear duels on it. I'm not sure how many hours this thing has quite on it, but she's got some hours. Um, yeah, Ben's going to be the cameraman here, and I'm just going to be kind of walking around. So that's this tractor is on the planter. This tractor runs the planter, puts a hydrus on the spring. That's what that one basically does here in the yard. Um, nine, can you hear me? Hey guys, how's it going? We're just messing with you. We're in the John Deere 8260 area right now. Um, this is the tractor that goes in the grain cart. You guys can see the CV we we're playing with. This tractor has 12, 69.8 hours on the thing right now. So it's got a heck of a lot. I don't know which one had more. I can't remember, but I can't remember what the 93 had, but yeah, basically it's, it's on a video. It's on video. I'll have to go back through that. This tractor is basically the same as the 93, but just smaller cab. That's all to it. And duels not articulating. But you guys can see here's a little bit of the back of the combine over here. Um, yeah, mirrors are kind of dirty. The windows are kind of dirty. Format, you know, but otherwise, yeah. Pretty nice tractor. Pretty nice tractor. Big blades on her. Yeah, it's all cleaned up for the year. You guys mm. have seen it. We were playing in the mud quite a bit. I just have to touch the screen every once in a while so it won't turn off. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Let me do a zoom in on that. Let me get rid of these mitts. Alright. Here. Well, I got you. I'm your cameraman. I'm taking my camera from you. From you a bit. I got the GoPro Hero 7 here, guys. Let me know how this is. Um, so, yeah, you guys can see the rollers and stuff here. For the to beat all the clumps up at the back of the ripper, we got the blades, we got the big shanks here that go in the ground quite a bit. Um, there's some what is this? I think like three inch tile. Yeah, it's about three inch tile there. Um, so next we're gonna start off with there's a bit more of the 82 and stuff there. Um, what else we got? All right, next up is gonna be the 9670 STS series combine. This combine has picked quite a few acres. And here's the grain heads on it. It's 35 feet long. So if you guys don't know what the 635 FD is, the last two numbers here are gonna be for how wide this head is gonna be for you guys. So here's kind of the inside, the back of it. This shed is probably not the best lighting. I do apologize. So here's this side of it. Pretty good. Um, lots of junk in this shed. Can't get quite back there, but we'll get there later. Oh, it looks like you, uh, hit the Yeah, we got her up there pretty darn close. We got, she's just showing up. Oh, sorry about my figure. I gotta keep touching this GoPro Hero 7, so you guys are gonna have to let me know how this is gonna be. So, we got a light now. We're gonna try this. So, next up is the Rolling Harrow. This is what pulls behind the 36-foot cultivator. Um, if you guys want to see some videos on this here later um go back to my channel link will be in the description as always to my channel there's some videos on us cultivating with the 8430 we'll get to later but all it is this rolling herald it just has two rolling heralds on it so it gets two um more of these rolling arrows across the ground um paired to the cultivator it has two no it only has one set of them and then, so next up, we're gonna have our John Deere 9360R. It's a little tall. <laughs> a little bit taller than what Ben is over here. So, let's actually climb in it and let's see how many hours we have these guys. Oh, it's hard to climb up with the flashlight and the GoPro. Let's see how many hours we got in this little girl. We're not gonna start taking the deer, we're not gonna start. We'll see how many hours we got in here, guys. Um, we're gonna wait for the Green Star 3 to warm up, but basically here's the front of the hood of it. You guys can see. Pretty wide. Yeah, it is pretty wide. So this is all your controls. I don't know. Um, one of these days, Ben will be back to help us do an actual um, how to operate this tractor one of these days. We'll show you about all these levers, what they all mean, how to actually operate this thing. I think I mentioned a little bit about this, but here's your throttle, you know, so let's hit okay, maybe. Might not actually load up. Yeah, it's loading, so it's gonna take a few minutes. These 93s always beep as hell. Oh, your trampoline's right there. So here, yeah, there's a trampoline. 
Okay. So hours wise, this thing has 18, 76.2 hours. Can I read that? Oh, yeah, yeah. There you guys can go. Um, yeah, I don't have the acres. I got the acres all reset out of this thing cleared for the year. So I can't tell me how many quite acres we ran with this thing, but this otherwise this tractor is a pretty good tractor. All right, off to the next. Quite a ways down. Show them the head up there. Show them the head. Oh, it is the belt. Head. Yep, Graper head. Draper. Draper, Draper. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys are enjoying this farm tour video. Let me know. I haven't did one of these, and I really haven't watched a lot of these either. So this is going to be kind of my experience of this thing. So you guys can see the back of the 93 here. Where it go? Where your grain goes in the combine? Yeah, there's the front of the combine. I do apologize about the lighting and stuff, guys. Uh, we got lots of wheel weight on the back of this. Since this guy does not have a front weight bracket on the front, we got wheel weight on her. Two big ones there. And so if the lighting's bad, I don't want to kill my phone battery all the way. And we'll change it up later. So yeah, you guys can see this is where the head goes on, and the grain head it'd go on there to run the PTO, and then you attach your hydraulic kind of quick catch here, and. This is where she feeds in from the head. So it's all grease, watch yourself, Ben. Um, this is where it'd go on. So this is be your uh, quick attach here. I'm not gonna take that one off, but you basically you'd stick that in the combine and you'd pull that back down. PTO, same thing, slide it on, be done with it. And then you put the combine in here, pick this up. Pretty much easy, pretty simple. You guys probably can see a lot of videos of that stuff later on. Oh, look, they even got the fire extinguisher. You guys, safe. you want to jump up there? Should we? We're going to jump up in the combine. The 96.7 here. So you guys can see kind of an overlay of what's all the equipment got. There's Ben. Oh, you can show them the small. So there's the lots of stuff. There's the 84 corn head. We got about... What is this? Probably like a 37 foot auger on the back of the on this thing right now. So it's pretty cool. I'll show you inside this green bin here. I'm gonna have to keep touching it, but we're gonna try with the best of the lighting we got. Um, this combine. I drop my phone in. You climbing <laughs> in and get it? <laughs> no, but this combine did not get a bath, as you guys can see. Just for the sake of it, we were so busy, and this combine was not worth it because all the bearings and stuff are in it. So. I'm not going to actually sit in this combine because there's a lot of junk on the ground, looks like it. But you guys can basically see what goes on in there. You guys see the grain tank back there, you know. But this thing, I've ran it quite a bit. And then we also have a camera right here for the unload auger. So you guys can see it. It's on the back of the auger. And that's about all is really to the combine. So, next up, we're going to have... see the nice... Yeah, there's the front of the 82. I need a look at the tires. One. Like, you literally look down there. There is like mud, like noticing guys, like this thing got in a lot of mud. See, you can see there's a vent in the middle of the hood. Yep. Alrighty. So oh, yeah. Nice little small tractor we All should right, go Alright, let's show go him. to the other side of this. I'll see how good Ben's gotta climbing down phone. this. You gotta put my phone down. I'll see how good Ben's climbing down this uh, ladder here. He has not climbed down quite a few of these ladders. I'm a genius at this stuff because I climbed down this thing too many times, you know? So, let's see how much uh, mud's in here. See, it's literally just. It's not yellow. It's not yellow, right? I wonder what the inside actually. Here, but yeah, it's basically not too yellow here. It's basically pretty much all brown and dirty here, as well. Um. So next, we're gonna go with the uh, header, the grain head, the front of the header here. Uh, this is a horse, horse or horse, whatever they pronounce it. Um. This is probably, this is about like 36 feet long. It's like literally not much. Oh, and you longer. can see uh, whatever these things but are. But yeah, this is basically your belt. What is there? How many belts are in this thing? Four different different belts of these in here. You can see here, there'll be belts and they'll be spinning around, bringing all the grain in. Oh, and you can see like Millennial Farm always has to change these things up. Yeah, sickle sections. Um, yeah, and then there's the belt goes the other way, and that will go round and round and round. This will be spinning here too. Oh, that's just plastic. Yeah. So that's basically all it is to our uh, grain table here. Green head, green table. But three well, feet you got long. some wheel weights. Yep, more wheel weight back there. Um. Anywho, so here's our hydrous rig. 
I'm not gonna show you much about it, but here's half of it right now. It goes under kind of back. It's all full opened up here. So you guys can see there's shanks here and there. We're skipping a few rows with it. Uh, it's a DMI 3100, looks like. DMI 3100. Here's our 16 John Deere row core planter here. So this thing plants soybeans and corn and a lot of other stuff, whatever you guys want to plant with it. Probably a lot more stuff you can plant with this guy. But we do have the seed bin on the barn up here. That we can put dry fertilizer down with it. So there'd be, uh, where the heck are these tubes of fertilizer? They're not even on here. They're all taken off for the beans. But yeah, there'd be lots of different tubes and stuff through all these hoses. They go down to each individual section and go from there. Um, so yeah, it's 1775 NT John Deere front planter. And it's three point hitch. A lot of the planters are three point hitch. So you'd only use the back two of them. Not You wouldn't use the third arm. You'd only use the two to pick it up. Lots of hydraulics to run everything here. You guys, you guys can see lots of mm -hmm. electrical and all that stuff to go with it. Um, I don't know what kind of a tractor that is, but we leave like a corn rick or something. Here, old... let's go run over to the 84 first. Yeah, that's like an old tractor there. So we're just gonna keep going around. Um, here's some stompers. Watch yourself, Ben. But here's the stompers for the bottom of this corn head. Mm -hmm. For the corn head over there. Millennial farmers talked about them quite a bit. Oh, you got a set of duels. Set of duels for the front of this tractor right here. So they're right there to go on that one in the spring. So it's boom, boom, boom. Um, so Eight here, the same header. thing. 68C, last letter. Last two, I mean, how many rows this is. Eight year corn head as usual. I'm, I'm hearing it. Yeah, somewhat. So you guys can see it. Corn head, pretty cool. We've picked quite a few acres of this kind of thing again. So there's our storage rack back there. Oh, you got no pigeons coming in here today? <laughs> Not today. Oh, you still have a little stop sign in those slow things? Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff around here, Ben. Um, so next, yeah, this is our John Deere 8430. This tractor goes on the pipeline a fair bit and it runs care plow or in the fall when it's home, or in the spring when it's home, it runs culvert back there. We'll get to that when we get back there. Um, here's our auger that we fill. So this is what we filled that bin over there up with the auger. Is so it this thing, one? we'll have like a little wagon, like a wagon, gravity wagon. We'd uh, fill full fertilizer, go up to the co-op, fill full, drag it back, and then we'd have this up to the planter, and we'd have to put the seed in by hand in the back, and then we'll put the fertilizer in with this auger into the top. I'm not sure how much that holds, but. 8430. 8430, yep. Three. A lot of hours on this guy, but she's a pretty good tractor. This is probably one of my favorites between this tractor and, and the 93. 93 is your favorite. No, this one is. It's the older. I like the older interior. So it's basically all like the same. Not much we different to it. This thing, this tractor is fully loaded. It's fully loaded. Green cart time. Or no, we're gonna show you a little small tractor. Yeah, I gotta show you the small tractor next. Do they even run? Um, that one is in the process of being, we're slowly working on it when we get time here and there, but we haven't had a time, a heck of a lot of yeah, time. Yeah, I can see it's, you know, it's not coming out for a while. <laughs> Probably springtime again, but here's our JM, what is this, 750? Yeah. Yep, 750 green right here. Um, I wish there was one of these at 7 or 19 right now, but there's not one in there yet. Um, you going to climb up the ladder and show them? No. Oh yeah, I it's remember dark. this pulling a so here's our um, big chain harrows and there's a little one on top just for the four-wheeler. Um, we drag them around in the pasture field in the springtime just for the sake of it to level all the manure out because we will spread the manure. As you guys seen the cows in the beginning, um, we're going to try to work on the intro. We'll see how that works. You might not see anything, but we'll check them out after. What kind of tractor is this thing? That's Massey Is that Harrison. Massey Ferguson? No, it's Massey Harrison. That's Harrison. There we go, an old girl. The other one's my car over there. Um, so here's our, I'm not sure how wide this thing is, probably like a 10 footer. Roller. roller here, lawn roller. That's what we roll all the roadsides with. That looks like it's a five foot six. Yeah, about a five foot or so. Yeah. Here's all the con case with combines here when you switch it between wheat and corn and beans and all that stuff. Um, oh, more duels. More duels for the 8430. There's the JM. Manufacturing right there. Holds about 700 
50 bushels of grain, corn and everything. Um, so here is going to be, this is the con scale 36 footer, 36, 36 foot cultivator. Um, this is what 84 poles with that packer over there that we've seen earlier. Oh, it's New Holland. Yeah, it's basically New Holland. That's where it came from, but yeah. What is it? Case from New Holland, huh? Case and New Holland around this area are based the same. Um, here's a ton of hydraulic old oses that leak, so watch yourself then when you walk by them. Mm. You don't want to get some hydraulic oil on you. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> hey, your bike. There's the bicycle. Um, yeah, this is basically, this cultivator, I will do some more reviews on this thing, but there is like four or five videos on my channel of this cultivator in action with the cultivator, or with the UM on the back. Looks like you got a set of new tires on it. Yeah, we just put them on last spring? Two springs ago. Two years ago. So here is the uh, Hydrus tool bar here. It's what a Hydrus Moni on. This is what we pull. I'd love to see one of these in real in Farming Simulator 19. So if anyone modders out there that are watching this video, go ahead and please make me one. I'd be so interested. Um, basically, just you'll make get it a for, shout out if you make one. Yeah, you will make my day so much. Um, just make it for like a 16 row corn planter, and you will make my day so much. There is. Gauge wheels for each side of them. They are off right now. That way they can sit back in the corner and this cultivator can sit back closer to it. Looks like this cultivator is like barely great on top of it. Yeah. But yeah. Parked it a little close. I had to get stuff in here tight, Ben. Oh, we need to show them your uh, Polaris eventually. Oh yeah, there's lots of more stuff. There's, I'm probably not gonna get to everything today, guys, but we'll try and see where we get to. You gotta show them your truck. I don't know, we'll get there maybe. Sort of like the squads. So yeah, you tarp it like, you know, probably guys. We'll show you how to tarp that thing later on. Okay, we'll it. Yeah. Forgot to put that guy so tight. Like we were jamming something here. Last yeah. year I think it was like, we were barely. Wasn't like, last year even all closer, more together? Oh yeah, we jammed stuff in here a lot tighter. Just because we had to cover all more full of hay. So, as like this tractor is not like the rest of the hitches, you will see how it's just one on top. This one is actually for the drawbar here, Ben. Mm -hmm. So it actually go in there, not the big pinnel hitch and the pin would go down in it. It's actually a normal one. That one gets pulled by the 82 as well. And if it possibly needed to, it can go in the 84 if we really needed to, but we haven't. We've only put it on once. Um, next up is be the McCormick. Can we already go here. over this? W4 old tractor here. Brand new set of rubber on her. It's an old tractor. This is actually the first tractor that ever was on the farm here. This was the first tractor was on rubber that came to the farm here. There it is right there. So it's an old guy. Um, I'm gonna run back come behind here. Watch yourself then. What are you, what are we doing walking underneath? Um, yeah. Shortcut. All right, guys, we're in the John Deere 8430 right now. This is what the older style of the cab looks like. It's not new and everything. Ben quit playing with a seat. Um, so it's basically old. I like this steering wheel quite a lot. This is the old 8 Series tractors. It's not an R, so I like the old tractors with nice steering wheel. Keys also up here and everything. I like that part right here. I like it up here instead of way down here like the other ones are all down here. So that's a nice feature. So this tractor had 2876.1 hours on this thing. Whoops. Yeah, I think it's all shot on the Where you guys can see it. Sorry about that. There's going to be lots of bits cutting out and everything. Hope we get everything when we cut them out and everything so they're pretty perfect for you guys. Nice. Um, so, yeah. Got her all. Firing down. Um, we're just going to show you a little bit of the live stock. Oh, here. hi, kitty. Hi. Don't come on. They're, they're scared of me. We're going to show you a little bit of the livestock for you. We've got two horses right now. I don't know what the other. The other two got sold. I'm not sure what's the deal with them, but there's only two here right now. So, what's going on? Do you need, what's the name of names? No, this one is, this is Danny. Guys, this is a Percheron heavy horse. Um, Hi, horsey. This one is Nate. Hi, hey, burner. What's up? Hey, don't try and bite me. So. Oh, the kitty's back. There's lots of cats around here, guys, too. Hey, come on. Oh, it's, oh I, I cornered it, Nick. No, oh, it's gone. All right, so we're not gonna go upstairs. What's this horse's name? Nate. Oh, the other way around. That's Danny. Cat. That's Nate. I messed that one up. Oh, they're, why are they all scared? That's uh, that's Nate. That's Danny. I messed that one up. And look at the back. Wait, what? That one's Danny. 
Yeah. How much? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I want that cat, Nick. <laughs> you want a lot of cats, don't you? I want any one I can get. Yeah. Mom won't let me. <laughs> um. Yeah. There's some straw from the wheat straw here. Got lots of that stuff upstairs. Oh, let me go upstairs. Stairs in the barn. Here's where it gets quiet because all the straw takes all the noise in. Yeah. So I might have to speak a little louder. Um. There's a couple thousand little dummy square bales up in here. This is where all the hay square bales went. If you guys have been watching my channel, I might have did a little bit of that stuff. I don't know if I did or not, but yeah. We're not climbing up in the loft this time. No, I put lot I put lots of pictures on Instagram of hand, I think. Might be in a few or two. Um more straw. Whole bunch of stuff. You probably don't even use all the straw. Oh no, this is lots of overstock. Um, I'm sure you've never used that. This straw is last year's straw. Um then there's a half a hay mail in here. It's not fully full. You guys can see how basically high this is up to that ladder and then there's more round straw bales over here we've made room mm -hmm. for back over here to pour to put more how do straw you even put all these in here just roll them in you what rolled we'd do these in is we'd bring them up with the loader into the back of the door here drop them down and we'd flip them roll them up to where we're going to put them and then we flip them up and we just keep how doing many that. of you just take that huh how many of you guys do oh it's usually three or four of us yeah and it's probably more than that when you're stacking them up no, all right, so here, guys, is the cow pen. This is where all the cows sleep at night. Um, it needs to be cleaned out or put more straw on top, probably both. Yeah, you can. Um, so, yeah, this is a lot of. It smells this... like piss in there. <laughs> There's about 40 cow... head of cows, 38, 40 head of cows around here. So, yeah, we'll show you the outside here shortly. All right, so here we got the John Deere little bucket for the 1585M loader. And here we have the John Deere 6430 bucket. It's brand new, you guys can see, but hey, this bucket is from off of the 61, and we sent, we got rid of the old loader, so we sent the old bucket with it. Um, next up, we have a whole bunch of skids and the blade and the water trough, an old box spring here, uh, chute. Uh, next up, we got a little big trailer here to pull around with the um, the gators, the mules, whatever. Um, we got some back of the hay rack, some gates, wheelbarrow, oil tub, you know. Gravity um, wagon. Horse gravity wagon. Got our snow blower here. I don't think we're gonna need that. We don't I don't get think snow. we're gonna need that, Ben. Do you do you want some snow days? Yeah, I just got a free snow blower. It's well, pretty new. Let's get some snow going here, boys. Let her snow. You know when we get the one centimeter snow, I go out there and play with my snow blower just because So I here it's this is, goes on the back of the eighty two or the sixty one, whatever. Um yeah. What else is going on? Um I don't know. The gravity wagon. Um you got new. a lot of pigeons up there though. Oh, there's a heck of a lot. Um, you guys can see the hay. You guys can see lots of hay. I don't know how many bales of hay are in here, honestly. Too many to count. I don't need to count. So here's our heavy spread. Or, yeah, new spreader. Newer, uh, Hydro newer, spread. Hydro spread, uh, newer spreader here. This is what all we spread with the newer all over the fields. With usually the 82 goes on this with the 64, or the 61, 20M, or something like that. You should do it with the 580M. Oh no, this thing don't have enough power. Yeah, and you'd probably get covered in it. Yeah, you'd probably get covered in it. You freeze. This is what the old people had to do. They'd have to use a tractor like this with no cab. We are really lucky to have cabs under tractors with air condition, heat, and all that sort of stuff. So this tractor is basically around here for loading bales, raking. We pull the rake with the crone rake. Um, so yeah, this is what this tractor does: is feed hay and everything else. It's a 5085 M. Um, pretty small. You know, not much to it. Need some new rubber here shortly. Probably gonna trade this guy off for a newer one. Well, yeah, the front ones back are pretty decent. Back are decent, right? And then there's the other bail spikes just for another set of bail spikes around here. And then we got some old gates, some skids, you know? Well, whatever. <laughs> whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, you guys can see this is all, that's all last year's hay and this is all this year's hay. So, second cut, first cut. Uh, we didn't get a third cut usually. But here's some old oil and fuel and stuff in here. You can see some corn yep, through that's the little corn to mix up for the calves. Um, we'd put some uh, more feed in here and mix some whole bunch of stuff up. We put in the mix mill a few calves here once in a while. The Great Plains Turbo. Plains 2400. Uh, 20. That's about a 24 24 footer. Um, there's the spikes at the back of this thing to level it out more. We have not put them on in a while just for the sake of it. Next up, hey. we got the rock bucket for the sixty-four thirty. And 6430. then after you got the raccoon trap. Yep, raccoon, no raccoon trap. Um, yeah, 
And what then else what do you, what's back there? Another plow? Yep, a whole bunch of stuff back to your bed. Oh, you, you need to uh, sit your raccoon trap. All right, so next up, guys, you guys can see the Great Plains Turbo here. It's basically like a culvert and everything. I'm not going to climb back in there because it's going to be a pain in the rear end. We've got more wheel weight, um, some weights on here, you guys can see. This is what we are, this is our VT, what we use. So there's two terra plows. You guys can see them. There's two terra plows back there. And then a little culvert goes on the pipeline also. And there's lots of more stuff around here. You guys can see. We got lots of more hay. There's the back of the spreader, the rock bucket that we picked a lot of rocks with, you know? So if you guys enjoyed this farm tour, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and look for us to some lots of farming simulator videos and also real life farming coming out in 2019. So take care and we'll see you next time guys. Thanks for watching the